Alright. And I'm back. Let's stop here for now. And let's get back to it. I have made a little more progress. Uh, so what I've done so far, uh, since off the, uh, the camera, was put in the power generator and the tech replicator. Um, what's the thing I was going to do next was start to put in the third floor. So we're going to go back down here. And we'll get a couple of these special pieces. Actually, I'm going to take you fly out to the boat to get a couple more things. ceiling pieces again. I won't need you, but I'm gonna probably make some uh, gonna make some railings. Uh, on, especially on the stairs. Probably wouldn't hurt to have them on on uh, at least the top stairs. And definitely when you get on the second uh, floor I don't want don't exactly want people to fall. I still think I'm gonna um, narrow this down a bit. See what I have in mind is um, I'm gonna start with three triangle pieces here across the way, probably you know five really, and then yeah, just kind of finish there. But I think I'm gonna wait on that for just a little while. First, I'm gonna put. Um, tall walls up. And flip with R1. Where's the right bumper? I forget what, what it is on the keyboard. Anyway, yeah. Flip and then place. And there we go. Now, um, I'll p start placing these again. One, two, three. Two and then three. There we go. <coughs> Maybe since the triangle piece is there. Yeah, I have that aligned the way I want it now. See, like right now, <laughs> I feel like I uh, need to be very cautious of not falling. You know, so yeah, I'll put. I'm either going to put walls here, or probably um, greenhouse or something, just to kind of give a, a cool observation deck look to this, and then probably put. Um, a way out, like, you know, probably put three of these, or maybe uh, five of the triangle ceiling pieces out here, um, so that you can climb onto the Brano's back, or jump off the Brano and you know, onto here without having to fall down. And that's 25. Okay. Now I'll start uh, trying to fill this part in.
See, I once put in this third level so that I can put in a regular fabricator up there, probably between the two. Um, just because. So, I was just going to keep placing a few more of these. And that's the last piece for now. Um, I'll do two more there, and then I'll start putting in, you know, this row or these two rows of ceiling tile pieces. And yeah. Uh, let's see how many I can make right now. Uh, 141. Um, so, uh, by the numbers that I've got, give me one second to pull up my notes, uh, uh, 31 on 31 triangle pieces here on this back row, and then 33 on the next, so 64. Uh, but 66 is what I need to make right now anyway. For the two. Um, so let's go for that. Okay, that's 66. So, while that does its thing, um, I will go down here and show uh, what I'm doing for the wiring. So, you know, as we, as I've said, uh, I put the power generator down. Um, and what I also did was that I took the castroids and decided to uh, get some a wooden scaffolding down for the moment. And I uh, decided to put uh, the wiring down underneath the, the power generator and I'll be extending it this way. And I'll uh, get the wiring to about here, where I where I'll have a cross uh, <coughs> cross going on. So uh, I'll end up with outlets on uh, on the uh, the east side and or wait, what's the what's the direction? North and south. Jeez, I'm surprised just how well. Uh, North and south, the space is pointing. Yeah. I wasn't really that concerned about it, but now that I notice it, it's actually pretty well uh, laid out. Um, it's probably not perfect, oh. but that's fine. Like I'm, I'm not that concerned about just how. <laughs> that would be a little ridiculous to try to, you know, get perfect square, uh, you know, perfect compass <laughs> or something. I don't know. Anyway. So, uh, some other things that I'll try to do is, uh, try to get more, I know we're going to need more chitin and more, you know, cementing paste. <laughs> it's it's going to be a very common thing. Um, so, let's see, that's 32. That should be enough for now. So, we'll get, uh, one of this in. There we go. Just a few more pieces left, and then 
There we go. Now, um, one of the things I wanted to do. So, yeah, we'll want to put some pieces in between here. Oh. Yeah, what I'll want to do is put, um, so that's that second row here. I'll probably do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven pieces, I think, yeah. And really, I can go in a little further too if I need to. You know, add. More of these. So, yeah, it looks like you've got uh, a little space there. Um, it just kind of juts out at the bottom, for, uh, at the base of this forge. Anyway, um, also, I should probably transfer some of the metal ingots to uh, my arch. Mm -hmm. I've, got, I've got a few cents. See how many more that I can put down. Oh, it's done. But yeah, yeah so I can make 75 more. Is it uh, just based upon just how? Yeah, it's 377, so you can only make 75 more of the triangle ceiling pieces. Um, I'll probably make the, uh, the stairwell first. I need to go up to the third floor. At least one stairwell. Um, so I'll just focus on that for now. Oh wait, what am I doing? I was in the right section for that. Five and six. So I'll get 33 of these and slap these down. And we'll just start on one end and go to the other. fog. That's just, <laughs> that's one of the, the pains of the game. It's kind of interesting, considering that um, the fog system, I thought, was considerably different than it was in, uh, the fog system in Unreal Engine 4 is considerably different than it was in Unreal Engine 3. You really have to build it from scratch. Yeah, 3. Two, three. One, two, three. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, yeah. Anyway, so we've got this in. Now all. <clears throat> so I don't want to put that in. Um. Yeah, this has got to be shrunk down a bit. Otherwise, because yeah, you look at it. One, two, three, and that goes right into the pit. Or <laughs> one, two, three, and there's no space there, so I'll just, uh, I'll make a few more triangle pieces, and then we'll go from there. Yeah, like, I guess I would have to make the base a little bigger, maybe next time, if I really wanted to have you know, 
the spaces be that equilateral or something, you know, the, if I wanted the hexagon, you know, appearance to be a, a lot larger, anyway, um, so, I don't know, I'll just do 10 for now, and we'll go from there. So I'll probably put Yeah. So yeah, the staircase will follow. Uh we'll go towards the east again. So yeah. Place these down. So the idea is to you know, keep the stairs at you know, two width and all. So we'll do one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I'm gonna need one more. Kinda looks like a diamond right now, I'm probably gonna put in one more here. But yeah, okay. it's a little bit of a star destroyer. <laughs> Look to it. So yeah, I just wanna make sure that you, yeah, you can fit right through on no problem. That's good. Just make uh, 22. Well, 12, I should say. I'll take one of these for now. Then we'll just uh, see if that. So it looks like an oblong hexagon. Uh, that's that should be fine. You know, just don't want to you know, clip through or you know not even fit. So yeah, that'll be fine. So yeah, all long hexagon will be fine. We get quite a bit more space to work with now. Yep. Yeah, it might not look as pretty, but yeah, like you gotta keep it more functional than. <clears throat> yeah. Better to be, yeah, better to be functional than whatever, you know? <laughs> So, yeah. Uh, now, the next thing I want to do is, uh, yeah, put that, put those stairs up. And then it needs to go. Yeah, I needed to have that extra ceiling tile piece there. Okay. And then, if I need to, I'll just put, you know, some railings here. Uh, but that'll come later. <coughs> when it comes to adding a few more details. Two, three, four, five. So I, next, I need to put uh, 14 uh, tile walls. And those will, well, and besides... 
get to that, you know, uh, 54 more tall walls there. That'll, uh, that's all the tall walls I'll need to make for this base. Alright. <clears throat> so, I doubt that I have enough cementing paste to do that. Uh, for now. But we'll get there in time. Yeah, I can do seven right now. So, we'll do that. And, uh, we'll go... S I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to go kill a whole bunch more of the scorpions. Uh, to get the, the rest of the seven. But yeah, I wanna try to get some... Uh, as much out of it before we start going farming for stuff. Okay. This is where having some clan mates would help a lot. Where, you know, someone can go get the resources and make, you know, the intermediate resources. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I, I chose to, you know, well, I guess I've kind of chosen to do this as a kind of solo project. <laughs> I, they were pro they were on earlier. They were doing um, what were they doing? I think it was uh, has the, it mi I, they might have helped with the alpha that cave. I'm not really. I'll have to talk with them about that. But yeah, I was a little too tired to do that tonight until I woke up again. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm. Definitely gonna be on for just a little while. And then, let's see, because yeah, let me check what. How, yeah, we're gonna need to make some more. Uh oh. See, I can only make 20 right now because, yeah, that was all the kind that I have left. <laughs> so, but we got the walls up, and we got the. Side looking completed, almost completed. We've got to put one more row of regular walls up top here, and then we can start putting the rooftop up. Maybe I can do an aviary so that uh, you can just fly this and the uh, tapajar up there, and anything else like a quest up there. Plan is to get some more quests, but you know, I'm very picky. I want to have high level quests. <laughs> Anyway, I might have to go to the Crystal Isles map on the server cluster. Oh, right. I was gonna, was gonna deposit the, uh, the wildflowers. I forgot. Now, um, I think I'll take... I'll just put, put that in here. The idea that I have for this for <laughs> preserving bins is to uh, eventually put you know, have uh, cooked or you know the cooked meat jerkies and whatnot, and cooked meat jerky and so on. Anyway, next I want to get you. Get you out and kill in some more. Before we go, I'm gonna get one, one gasoline. Just one for now. Yeah. Cause yeah, uh, nine, well, a ninety-one percent uh, on the uh, on the chainsaw. Tool. But yeah, you know, I'm use the chainsaw at least a little bit. Fly over to Carnal Island since it you know, constant respawns. Constant enemies. Now I'll just put you over here again. Shouldn't deal with many uh, creatures around here. 
that. Now let's see how this goes. Wait a minute, what's that? Which is uh, okay, I suppose. You can have the meat. Sorry, Archie. But, sorry, not sorry. <laughs> I think there was a uh, Rex over here. got a few thousand kiting already. Now we'll do a few runs and then, uh, and then head back. Try to attack again. That might be a tech raptor there. Am I wrong? Nope. Yeah, that's a tech raptor, alright. Okay, we'll just go kill the raptor if it's stuck. Hi. So we're going to need a lot to make some more elements. Ooh, red crates. Oh, sounds like we've got a raptor. Yep. For the uh, crates, and I'm just gonna 
do another lap around. Yeah, I, uh, I don't know why people built uh, over here. There's a mortar and pestle. Is there anything in it? Build a wave. Cool wave. Just don't think that, that it's very wise to put down those uh, pieces around here, you know? Any structures that can potentially block spawns. So, man. Eh, right here is not too much of a concern. And, uh, yeah, it's just a regular red crate, which it can be okay. It'd be better if it were, if it had the ring around it. And we will live with it. Hopefully it has something good. Is a cap road, sadly, yeah. And then we don't need the blue ones. <laughs> so, yeah, not, not the greatest of crates. I've had better. I had better earlier, actually. I had gotten, uh, I got another, um, chest piece. Uh, I had gotten this one. It's not as good as the one, as the, the flat chest pieces I have here. But, uh, you know, this will work for now. It'll work as a backup, should for some dumb reason I lose my main chest piece. Oh, so we can have that. Alright. Oh. Uh, what should I level up? I should give you... I think that the server owner had uh, altered the health to better reflect the Ragnarok settings. Not completely sure. I'll have to ask her next time that uh, I'm around when she's around. Because, yeah, it's late night here. I'll take that. Alright. Okay. Let's move around now. level of Rex are you? 180. Trash. Oh, yeah, there's one of the Explorer notes, by the way. Um, so, if, yeah. if you need the, uh, if you need to level up, that's, uh, you just go through those on the island. <laughs> yeah. Bye. You are just gonna have it. Oh, and they're gonna try to attack me, of course. Well, more Archie Talons. <laughs> there we go. It finally works. <laughs> I 
see, yeah, it's it's really beneficial to get a chainsaw because yeah, like while well, you can get a lot of chitin with the saber tooth, I was getting up to 400. Like you can get up to 800 uh, with this and uh, with the chainsaw. It's just so good at getting resources. Still no black pearls. Ah yeah, well. Yeah, that's the way it goes. Yeah. The RG eats the uh, the saber tooth. Yeah, getting greedy there, RG. Getting greedy. Scorpions first, though. So. <laughs> oh, that's me. Got fifty percent fuel left. Hi. like it. Alright, I think I'll do one more map. On the tour. Uh, you know what, I'm not gonna use the chainsaw, I'm not gonna bother. Uh, bother with the chainsaw and the carnotaurs just because like you just the payoff is not very high uh, using that versus where I was getting 800 chitin on the uh, scorpions so yeah I think I'll just stick to using the chainsaw and the scorpions and the trilobites really it's that numbers game you know <laughs> Last lap around the island here. Anyone around up here? Nope. <laughs> kind of figured. That never hurts the luck. Nope. Oh, some rafters. Sorry there, Saber Tooth, I think. That wasn't quite good enough there. 920 AK. Okay. <laughs> Another 800 plus. 840. 640. <laughs> like, even the worst outcome was better. Let's see, what's here? 
Torpedy. Oh, the Torpedy is. <laughs> look, you know, it, like it, it has to get to 7800 plus. Just uh, 7800 to get knocked down. <laughs> so the Scorpions would have to. I mean, they're gonna have to be staying in it for an hour while I'm just will let it <laughs> keep it attacking, basically. So yeah, like that's that's kind of I mean that's a part of just some of the ridiculous numbers I guess I can get on this particular server. Just, you know, like sure, it's uh you know maybe the the score you know yeah the wild dinos could use a buff in their attacks. I think that's what the I think that's what the server owner did with the um with our with the server that's running Fjorder, the Fjorder map, the latest map, something like that. Side. Interesting. No RG is alive, so yeah. <laughs> I guess they it would help to have some RGs to or if you don't harvest them so that they respawn. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we're all pretty it. Okay, I think that's probably it. Oh, oh, there's one more scorpion. <laughs> yeah. So now we'll go back and uh, go make a whole bunch of cementing paste. I can probably wait for the yellow crate to drop down. It's going to be a while though. the inventory uh, of the saber tooth in the meantime. Get rid of the stuff. Don't need it. It's not even good enough for a grinder. I'll probably use those regular arrows to make um, some more grapples because I've got 25 which can be okay but kind of want to have more just in case. It takes three of uh, the stone arrows to make a grapple hook. It says, you know, at the very bottom there. Let's see what's the... Yeah. Durability is plenty fine. 
especially for the grapple hook. It's quite a bit. Yeah, just on uh, Ragnarok. And when we go over to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to decide whether I want to go to Valguero or Crystal Isles after the island. Is this a blueprint for Behemoth Gateway? Where the, the, yeah. Well, sorry about that, folks. It's something that I guess yeah, added out. But really, I'll probably uh, I'll be you know, uploading this to, you know, all these videos and all all these streams that I've been doing. I don't I might do like a video supercut of me building the base. I'm not sure exactly how it's gonna pan out because like the video production will be probably it'll look kinda weird, I'm sure. But, you know, we'll make do with what what we've got so far. Because yeah, like if you really wanted to do a production video you'd have like a second. Oh, well, and they're gonna bring a right crate down. Stone off the ankular, and then I'll probably get more stone uh, with the Dodecaris. Anyway, try to offload as much onto me as I can. Obtaining stones and an anko. However, I would get an anko first before a Dota Curious, just because it's kind of a jack of all trades resource gatherer. It can get stone, flint, metal, it, it can get thatch, it can get wood, um, it can get berries. <laughs> it's like, yeah, this is kind of the starter uh, resource gatherer. basically two stone to one, well, it's eight stone to four Gaiden or Keratin. But yeah, you, you need twice as much stone as you do the Gaiden. Oh, I'm at a thousand one. <laughs> well, there you go. I'll just take that for now. Now we'll go and get some stuff. Should be considerably easier. <laughs> and now I could demolish this. I, I could probably just, yeah. Put all the stone into the, the mortar and pestle there. And honestly, I should have more than one mortar and pestle going. In fact, I think that's what I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna make uh, as a, another mortar and pestle once. I forget what it takes to make. Oh, yeah. 65 stone. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it just takes stone and hide. I forgot about that. Oh, it's already eaten through all, all the barriers that I gave it earlier. See, that's the one weakness about the dode, is that it's, uh, it does not uh, farm berries on its own. You can't set it on wander or anything like that. Can't uh, use an attack to, to gather berries. This is what it is, though. All right. So good at getting stone and thatch, though. I have one. 
especially if you're trying to make some melting paste. And when it comes to making some of the end game stuff, you need stone. <laughs> like, yeah, it's a basic resource, but you always need stone. <laughs> and spark powder too, but at a certain point you don't need spark powder, you need gasoline. And uh, at some point you don't need gasoline, you need elements. <laughs> an element charge, an element dust. Pose. Huh? Um, I gotta look up here. Get the coastline here. There we go. Yeah. Uh, we're just uh, building up the base here. Oops. It's a little awkward. Keep on moving here. We've got a few thousand stone now. And, yeah, it looks like we, there's hardly anything on the inventory for the Doad, which is nice. Because it's like an 87.5% weight reduction with stone. It's absolutely absurd how much stone you can put on it. Probably, you know, I would probably uh, inventory slot cap it, like on especially uh, regular settings. I, th I think that's... Uh, that red uh, crate has finally come down, so I'm gonna get this. Uh, last stone, and then I'll head back. Oh wait, no, there's more. But yeah, I'll just take the RG fly over there quickly. Oh no, it sounds like a knife of the harness. Don't want to deal with them right now. Stone out there. One, one boulder after another. Alright. There's a deal. There's a dodo. Yeah, I'll be dismantling this uh, little stone building that I had because, you know, I didn't have the industrial forge in yet. Um, so I figured that I would, you know, just put in the regular forges. And then get to keep the, uh, the metal production going. Close this up now. Take the RG and that red crane. Oh, let's go after a red crane. Yellow and red for me. I don't, I don't really look at any of the others now. Uh, it would, it just depends too. Like if I need, well, I need to. I think I need a castroid saddle blueprint. So, um, I've got an Argentavis saddle blueprint. And there's a couple other blueprints that I need just to be able to. Mass produce some of those for uh, all the different teams that we're going to have across this, uh, the servers because we're on Ragnarok on the island now and we've also been on Fjordr. So there's going to be some saddles that can be. Yeah. Ooh, that's a good one. And uh, it's not the greatest, but that's, uh, that'll work nicely. Yeah, like, there's Xeno. Uh, we could probably, in the currency that we have on the server at the moment, it's a cementing piece. I could probably sell it to someone, basically, um, for, I don't know, probably 10,000 cementing piece or something like that. And making cementing piece in a chem bench does not take much time. Or, uh, yeah, if you do what I was doing. I mean, I got 10,000 uh, chitin, no problem. You know, with a saber tooth and with a chainsaw. And 
don't even need the chainsaw to get it that much. Just, just the saber tooth would be good enough. Yeah, there's another red crate over here, so I'm gonna check it out first. I think I'll put the uh, some of this armor on. To uh, code that in, where you can allow uh, for Dino Inference speed buff on the uh, on a, a flyer. <laughs> All right. Let's see what's who's around here. If I do, I can just throw it into the industrial grinder and get some resources out of it. So, yeah. We'll come back here, I think, to get some resources. Or to get some more metal. Uh, well, the thing is that the that mountain is closer to our base, but this is still not very far away. It doesn't, you know, it takes less than a minute to get here, so I might just come back for, uh, Getting metal. I think you might get more metal over here actually. So, yeah. I guess that's a good hypothesis to check. Like, how much, how much metal can you get? Because I think over at this mountain, I get about like 20,000 metal. My current doesn't have some angular servers. So, let's see how much we get over there. Because on one part, you get so many different metal deposits. Um, yeah, I'll have to like count how many metal deposits there usually are up on one mountain and then you know, compare with the other. Alright, so. Yeah. Do I have any perishable stuff on me right now? But I do have some cementing paste. I'll give that to you, RG. What's uh, anything there? Now, I think that there was, uh, I think I'll make 15 more of these pieces. Maybe 20, if I can. I can do 17 for now. I think that'll suffice for now. Oh, I better throw in the scrap metal and the oil. a certain point. <laughs> uh, 
if that's gonna be. I'm trying to feel a little sluggish. <laughs> sluggish in comparison. <laughs> that I got. It's, uh, like, it's, what's the durability at? 1622. Yeah, this blueprint that I got before it is, a, is still better. But, that's a cheaper alternative, I guess. And, like, I could sell it to someone. It'd still be quite good. Yeah, what I should have done was done, you know, I should have just put the mortars, like, you know, vertically, um, you know, along this way. So, I'll just do two. Got enough cementing piece to last us a little while. But yeah, let's get the uh, bench in. Um, oh, I have to get the fabricator in first, the regular fabricator. Um, I've got a regular fabricator. Uh, well, not on the, bed, on, on the boat here. It should be right here. the grinder. I might have forgotten to make the uh, the fabricator. That's okay. I can make it on the RG. I don't know. I, that was, I think that was just uh, an oversight on my end, because I because uh, uh, what I did was I made the grinder and all the uh, the industrial forge and all this stuff because I was looking at the grinder. I'm sorry, I was looking at one of the fabricators on our main base in Ragnarok. So, yeah, it was an oversight on my part. I'll have to correct that. Um, so, I'll have to just make the fabricator from here. Structures, crafting, and what will it take? 15 crystal, we'll have that. We'll have the cementing piece right here. I think we need some uh, spark powder yeah, and oil. So, I'll just take 10 oil. I'll just move the uh, the crystal from the RG to make some spark powder, or actually take some spark powder. <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's take that, put that on the RG. There we go. I will. Well, ten oil. Yeah. There we go. Put 
that on you. And then what else? Uh, I think of a spark powder. Yep, 50 spark powder. Not yet. And we'll be I'll just make a fabricator. to make the regular fabricator. That's okay. <laughs> Alright, now let's place these down. Fourteen. Alright, so now we do have a well, yeah. I do have a third floor up. No. Not. Right. So. some more of the triangle pieces. Yeah, you can drop down three floors without injuring yourself. However, seven is a different story. So I'll be putting some railings up <laughs> eventually. Maybe make some uh, <laughs> some sort of wooden sign saying, you know, uh, caution, you know, work in progress or something. I don't know. make five more of these for now. Um, let's go to structures and metal. We need seven more of these holes. There we go. Too close there, but yeah, I'll probably just put the uh, the fabricator right there and call that good. Because I want to have it, you know, right in between the two uh, industrial bridges. Yep, I'll do that, and I should see. I should be able to. Yep, I can access the the industrial forge from here. Just have to be a little careful here. But yeah, it's uh, it's coming together nicely. So uh, now I'll just uh, put the forge down or the fabricator down. See this. Yeah, put down a, a wood ladder. Oh, hold on, gotta pick that up. I didn't uh, snap the the ladder right. There we go. The closest. Wait, no, no, it's still not <laughs> snapping point. It's always, you know, the snapping system is very finicky. There we go. So now we climb up. And then we can uh, put this down. Uh, on second thought, I'm just going to jump off. Uh, pick that back up. 
align this properly using the cross here. And put that away. Now there we go. And I'll just put that about you know, like it doesn't need to be perfect, perfect, but that's gonna be close enough, you know. So I have access to the industrial forge and then I can throw any metal in here. Very good. Uh, yeah. Um, and so yeah, now I can make a second industrial forge from here, or from the uh, uh, from the tech fabricator. But I I only have one element at the moment. I'll be making more later. Um, I've got to kill a bunch of tech dinosaurs and go kill the bosses on the island here. But yeah. Anyway, so the structures. Uh, for crafting, yeah, we'll have to make that. 600 cementing paste, 2,500 metal ingots, 400 oil, 400 polymer. That shouldn't be too hard. You just uh, get you know, getting polymer, especially with the uh, chainsaw. Um, it should be pretty easy work. Um, same thing with the oil, we'll just find some trilobites or, well, there's a whole bunch of deposits uh, around this area. Um, just go jump in the ocean. I can show you a couple spots. And um, you take a Dunkleosteus. I've got one on the Ragnar Ragnarok map on the uh, server cluster we're playing on. It's called Lost World Dominion, by the way. Um, you can see that in the. You know, right there on the Arc server name, right below that. Yeah, that's. Uh, so, yeah. Playing on uh, PS4 or PS5. Um. So yeah, if you're interested in joining, by all means, look for Lost World Dominion, and uh, you can, they've got servers uh, for Ragnarok, uh, the island, uh, Aberration, Extinction, Crystals, um, and Valguero too. Uh, I think I might be missing, oh yeah, Fjorder of course, the, the latest map, so yeah. Uh, if you're interested, check that out. So... Oh, we got some wood in here. Cool. Um, what are some other things I want to do? I've just, I'm going to do just a couple more things. Oh yeah, I was going to show the oil deposits around here. Um, I, I don't have any swimming dinos over here yet. Our main base is over at uh, Ragnarok. Um, do I have some, uh, I think I've got some goggles. Uh, Actually, I could probably put you in That helps. Yep, there we go. The gas mask will help. <laughs> so, here's where I am. You know, uh, up in the northeast, not too far away from the Cardinal Island. Uh, there should be some oil deposits that are actually south of north. Um, but, yeah. It would help a lot if, well, one, I need to uh, get some more oxygen. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think it's like way down there. But yeah. Oil deposits are all around the island anyway, and you take a down Theosius and kill them. Or you can actually go over to the west and start taking them. Uh, there's a bunch of oil deposits on the beach uh, over there. Anyway, uh, enough sounding like Darth Vader. I'll take the RG. And then I think uh, what I'll also do is uh, move the. Uh, let's see, I'll, where's my ascent pick? Take that. Yeah, replace the ladder. <laughs> see, yeah, right there's some. I'll go check and see what's in there. Yeah. We've got a couple of groups that have some 
really nice buildings over here in general to show those to you. Some all sorts out of them. Very nice. So, yeah, here's, uh, there's one guy. It's, like it's a pretty impressive little tower here. Um, he's got, uh, he knows how to make the circular building. Uh, so what you do is do uh, six triangle pieces in the center, if you can see that, and then you do a triangle piece and then uh, a regular ceiling piece. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that's a pretty nice way of doing it. Uh, that works for this, you know, cliff side there. I don't know why he needs to build, you know, the wooden spikes and all. Maybe it's just for decoration purposes. I would say that's just for decoration purposes. Yeah. Oh, he's made, this guy's made a, a nice boat too. So I want to make a, a, a similar boat uh, eventually. Yeah, uh, nice, nice pad here. See, that's the thing about the PVE servers, that you can build to your parts desire, basically. So, yeah, I kind of like that. I like the dock side that he's made so far. I'm going to, I'm going to be working on a, uh, a, a large water pen that's going to be large enough to put a maze sort of and a two sort of. So we're probably talking about something about at least 25 uh, walls wide. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, I've got to build my metal base first. Anyway, so we're going to look for some oil deposits along the beach here. Oh, we've got a beauty in a level beauty in the sense. 300. We should be able to kill it. Well, maybe not on the first one. Or maybe the beauty already died. Ah, oh, darn. Uh, what level are you? 210, dude. Um, not very good. I'm surprised it's not healing itself. Well, like, yeah, it would be really good on official settings, obviously, because official settings go up to level 50, but uh, it's max dynamo on this server. I mean, it's a little silly, I suppose. It's kind of like an artificial difficulty and stuff. It's, it's more of a, there we go. Yeah, we need the UD along the screen for it. Um, now, there were some people on the server earlier that were talking about trying to find uh, a place for a base. Uh, they were talking more about like, uh, trying to put a base down towards the center of the map, so like the Redwoods area. Um, meanwhile, like, for me, I think my criteria for a base are a little different because I want to have just a unified base where you, you always have a home base and you come back to it. Uh, you can use it for you know, right pieces, so one for the other. See, so I want to have a water pen and you know, the main pen for all of the uh, all of your dynamos there. And uh, with my metal base that I'm putting together, it's uh, I'm trying to, I'm going to try to make sure that it's fully enclosed, so I don't have to worry about uh, any wires you know, coming in or something. And the area in which uh, I'm in. It's not that bad. So yeah, someone's got a nice little base here. Uh, it's a good thing that I don't want to worry too much about. That's a uh, Tantayana down there. Uh, I'm just going to try to get some oil. see plenty of oil deposits just within like this north beach. Um, yeah, it's right along here. It's, it's so good. <laughs> it's so good. So, 
And now I'm going to go back. I just wanted to do a quick demonstration of uh, or, you know, some of the easy, well, positive environment. Also, if you want to Yeah, let's attain the place so. um, Yeah, you'll see some of uh, the some of the penguins. One more yield. Three sixty. I mean, you know, when it comes to getting Kirikiri. So levels won't matter too much unless you're. Really... Oh, yeah. I mean, because you're not going to take it into combat, so <laughs> you know you just take it over to me. Um, but yeah, I'll just kill you here and get some organic polymer. Okay. Let's check that. Oh, my bad. So. If you don't have a chainsaw, if you're starting on the island, what you want is a wood bat. Switch to that. And if you can get an ascendant wood bat with hyper ability, great. Here we go, 100. Look at that. <laughs> 240 organic polymer. <laughs> Yeah, and also the harvest settings on the server are a little different. They're not quite how I would do it, but, you know, I'm not going to complain. Well, uh, anyway, I'm just not going to complain. Let's see, that's an adolescent level. Yeah. So you can possibly get prime meat out of it. Yeah, no primate right now. Oh well. It is what it is. Anyway. So we've got plenty of uh, organic polymer for now. Yeah, they've done a nice, nice job of the base that they've got here. Um, But yeah, I I had thought about that area for a uh, home base. The only issue is that the uh, the water is too shallow, and but then it gets too deep to make a, a large water pen. Like it, it just costs a lot of resources. Not not it's actually not really the resource cost that I have an issue with. It's more of the um, the structure of it. Because there's a certain point where you can only make so many walls before, it, you know, before the server starts liking out, basically. And yeah, there's some post structure elements um, for uh, putting together a base and whatnot. You only have so many structure pieces in that same time. want to try to, you know, um, yeah, it's just a lot of areas on the island are not easy, you know, you can put in, like, a megalodon about this, yeah, this deep, that's fine, but if you try to put a mosasaur in, that's not going to work. And my, uh, my clanmate, uh, T-Rex, he likes to have mosasaurs out, <laughs> he likes to have mosasaurs out. I'm more I'm more into the bats of those myself, <laughs> but it's, uh, that's just me. Alright, so let's make our way back to our base. Um, if you're not concerned about water pipes, the areas like this are nice, because you have uh, constant access to fish. Uh, this is uh, not the hidden lake, by the way. Go over there. There's also uh, there's someone that's built over there uh, already. We've got a nice little place so over here. Nice little town. Yeah. Yeah, they've done a nice job here. It's like, yeah, it's probably not perfect. 
perfect, but you know, it's pretty interesting. So it's a different, definitely a different way it's a building. So yeah. Alright. Now. Yeah, that's probably, probably get piranha there. Yeah, so that's the hidden lake here. And then yeah, you've got... There's actually a pond over here. There, it's, uh... Where there's an explorer note. Um, I'll be going through the explorer notes after. Uh, I do the uh, alpha ascension and so on. The next thing I'm gonna do... Is, uh... Put those walls up. Probably make some more like this and try some other pieces. Um, I think I'll we'll actually get that to you. Hmm, that's weird. Why it's uh, showing the zero for the tall ones. Take those from you. Uh, uh, just about out of time. I'll do 15. Just to uh, move that around. Put that away for now. <laughs> and so R1 or right bumper on Xbox controllers, uh, that changes the snapping point. But yeah, um, so I want to do R1 to flip it, and then I'll place it. Same thing here. Just make sure that I got the right snapping point, because, yeah, otherwise, it's, uh, kind of, it makes it look a little weird when you start looking at things. Uh, especially from the outside, you'll start to notice some shadows and whatnot, and we'll try to make sure we don't have any sort of Shadows that don't need to be cast. There we go. And then the last one. There we go. Now we'll go back down and put down another row of triangle ceiling pieces. Um, and then. Whoops, I gotta change controllers. <laughs> I've got another controller right here. Give me one moment. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Get all these notices on my on my screen. It kind of blocks out. Like, that was an issue that's been around since the launch of PS4. It's kind of funny. It's, it's like, yeah, are you guys ever going to fix that? You know, where it'll either... You know, I, I should probably just turn notifications off, period, when, I, when I'm doing any sort of streaming. Um, so that, you know, like, a quarter of the, <laughs> of the screen isn't blocked. Anyway. So, um, yeah, I'll just place these down, and then I think I'll wrap up the stream. Because um, one thing is that I want to put down, uh, on the third floor up here, I'll be putting down some vaults, but I'll be having, like, a, I'll have to come up with uh, a set of walls to uh, make sure that um, I know exactly where I want to put these things. You know what? I know what I'll do. Um, after I put these triangle ceilings down, uh, I'll put some gas in the fabricator and make some uh, more electrical wires because I'm missing some. The only thing that I 
I kind of wanted to do a catwalk in between these, but clearly I didn't build this wide enough back here so that there would be a, like a, a catwalk that I can kind of go across, but that's okay. Um, I'll probably just fill in the rest of that. Um, I guess what I can do is I can put this piece right there. And, uh, let's see, so, I don't know what to do. Yeah, right here. Yeah. Because <coughs> I'll, I'll do another, uh, I'll be, I'll start to put the same shape right here as I, on the third floor here, as I do on the second floor. And then I'll probably put some railings around here so that you don't accidentally fall down and take fall damage. Oh, <laughs> see, this is why I need to, you know, why the plan is to fully enclose the space so that Ichthyornis doesn't uh, somehow, yeah, this doesn't somehow manage to clip through the building. Hopefully it doesn't manage to clip through the building and um, attack and steal stuff from the animals in here. I mean, that would be a huge issue if it's able to do that. I don't want that to happen. Hopefully, um, hopefully, um, you know, with, I do have the, the building right now where, um, hopefully it won't be bothering us, uh, anything. Ah, no, it's gone. There. Don't need it as much. <laughs> I'm, yeah, thinking of the crossbow. <laughs> Something can go through that, I don't care. Right, so, how's that? Okay, we've got a thousand uh, cements and paste here. We'll just make some more. And then, yeah, just another 200 or so. Here. So I should make a, yeah, I'm gonna make a, a dino leash since we've got the polymer to spend. We've got a couple thousand, yeah, 2,500 cementing piece, so we're, we're in good shape now. Uh, we're in good shape for the moment, but yeah, I'm gonna try to take some of that, um, take some of that metal and give it to the, uh, the fabricator up here. Yeah, I definitely need to fill this in with more of the triangle pieces. Um, so, put that in here. I do need some of that for the next industrial forge. Um, I'll put some height in here too, why not? Um, structures electrical. I mean, we need to make some uh, electrical cables so that we can finish wiring the place. And I also need to oh, maybe get some uh, electronics too. And it actually does need some wood too. Do I have? It? Yeah, I've got some electronics on me. It's good. Now. Let's uh, 
take some of that. I'm going to be very, well, I mean, I've got, you know, uh, a couple thousand gas. I'm just going to be stingy on the gas. <laughs> um, I'll just feed some of this back to the forge just because. I mean, I, I could probably let this go, um, you know, uh, let this run overnight, basically. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to be stingy for now. Um, let's make one more of these. Um, to make five cables to start out with. I think I need to make two of these. Go down. Not to use my little wooden scaffolding and place the line. I'm not using that one. I guess I'm using the, uh, the cross one. Then. That's weird. But okay. Well, maybe that's uh, that can be for future use or something. So I'll have to make another cross. And uh, yeah, I'll just do a cross right here now. I might actually need to do a tap jar. Use a tap jar to do a free one. See how just how far out I can do the wiring. Uh, I can probably, you know, just go over to the stairs there. Oops. See, just <laughs> falling a little ways here. Yep. to do a I'm gonna get the uh actually that should be fine. I think that that because the the radius of um of these plugs, the electrical outlet is pretty uh pretty lean so I'll just uh, work with that. Um so where do I put the vertical? Vertical is did I even take it out of the fabricator? I might not have. Hmm. 
Oh, never mind. It's right there. Wow. My bad. Oh, and while, while we're doing this, I think we're going to go to the RG and make six more of these staircases. So that all. Staircase. That's five, and then one more. I need to put the fridges in first. Yeah, that's gotta be a thing. Alright, so, yeah, I, th I think that should be good enough. But we'll see, but I, I think that that should be good enough. There we go. So now I'm gonna go and uh, go back to the boat. Things out the chem bench is one. Um, yeah, we'll try to do that. Um, the cooker, another, the two fridges. And then that. So those are the things that I really needed, <laughs> I, I think. Um, oh, yeah, there's another 810. Um, I'll just put that into the industrial forge, um, and then, yeah, yeah, I think that, yeah, that's good enough for now, we'll just place that, and I'll we'll call it for now, so, And yeah, I'll, I think I need seven. Yeah, it was seven because I put down two before I went out of range for being able to place the uh, the straight cables there. So it'll be seven over here, and then one vertical here, and then the yeah, electrical, electrical outlet will come out. And what I'll probably do over here is make a room for the cryo fridges because I've got two, and I'll probably make more uh, later on if need be. But yeah, I definitely want to have uh, the cryo fridges in a uh, separate room, uh, just in case, because uh, we did have some trouble on the Ring of Rock server where someone just came into the base and was able to take stuff. So uh, yeah, I'll probably have to pin code a couple things for now anyway. So like, well, I won't do that on stream, the pin coding, but yeah. Anyway. Here, that's where I'll put these uh, stairs down. Yeah, welcome to the stream there. Actually, not going to be on for too terribly longer. But yeah, I've just been kind of showing, pro uh, you know, I've been working on this big base. It's uh, 25 by 9 for the ceiling pieces. And then uh, 25 by 10 for triangle ceiling pieces, and it goes into uh, 15 on the back side. So yeah, it's uh, it's been it's been taking a few days to build this thing, uh, but yeah, um, I'm not gonna be on the island for too terribly long. But yeah, I just because. You know, one of the things that uh, on the main base that we've done is make an egg farm and uh, uh, a greenhouse for uh, growing the plants and you know, making a whole bunch of kibble basically. And so I can uh, eventually I'll be putting a tech transmitter on the rooftop and so we'll be able to um, move between this and the Ragnarok server um, on the uh, cluster. It's called Moss World Dominion here. Um, it's on PS4 or PS5 if you're uh, playing on um, playing Ark on PlayStation anyway. You can look for these uh, you know, these servers anyway. And uh, it's a PvE server, so 
Uh, uh kind of. Yeah, it's been pretty interesting so far. Anyway. So the, yeah, the last thing that I'll do is uh, get um, some more CI pieces. I'll just go for 30 for now. Um, I'm going to put the wood ladder back up so that we can start placing these down. Um, so two. Yeah, I'm gonna place the industrial cooker down, but I, but I need to also make the um, the pipes <laughs> to get the water in. Um, that was it's just a little bit of an oversight by me, my bad. So let's go to structures uh, pipes. Um, Do uh, one straight irrigation pipe, and then we'll do an intake. Yeah, you have to have an intake, and then um, I'll probably do five. And then while I wait for the, uh, the pipes to be made, I'll just place these triangle ceiling uh, pieces down. So, yeah, we're doing pretty good on the, um, on getting chitin for the cements and paste. We've got over a thousand, uh, over a thousand cements and paste right now. And when, as soon as I place the, um, the chem bench down, it's going to be even easier to make a whole bunch of cementing paste. I won't even have to worry about the mortar and pistols anymore. <laughs> I've been doing it pretty slowly, but you know, the more and more that I put these uh, structure pieces in, the faster that it'll be to complete the space. And then we can start going after the actual artifacts and boxes and the tech cave. that all the, the triangle pieces are already finished. But yeah, what I'm going to do is try to finish the uh, design here of um, these triangle pieces. So it'll run like such into the three. enough space to get an ankle through. Just to show you that. Just like that. You know, if your character doesn't well, you'll fit. Um, if I were to do like a, a two if I were to fill in this gap here right behind me, I think I would still have enough room, but I'm not gonna risk it. Try to finish. Uh, try to do these. Do the same thing on the left side. Get those two pieces up here. That's okay, I can just make more later. Yeah. But that's the basic shape. 
I just you know that I just need four more right here, and then you know, I'll just fill the rest out. I'll probably put the uh, the vault on this wall uh, back here and make a room out, out of that, and then I'll probably put bunk beds on the opposite wall, make a second room out of that, and then yeah, I'll probably make um, a room for the cryo fridges right over here. Just kind of fill this in just to make sure that people have access to you know, make a, a separate industrial forge right here. Yeah. Alright, I think the last thing I'll do you now, uh, it's like, ah, oh, just one more thing. Uh, I'll just put it in the wire over here. Uh, structures, uh, Yeah, the last thing I'll do is uh, place um, some of the appliances. So I'll take I'll put most of the gas here. that much gas. I do need to fill this back up though, this chainsaw. There we go. Alright, so now I'll put the... I'll, I'll place the, the wood bat with the club with the... Uh, so the cooker... I don't want to put the cooker in. Um, let's see, what, what was the order that I wanted to do it? And, um, I'll probably put the chem bench to the right side. Uh, I'm going to put the, uh, the fridges kind of in the middle. And then I'll do is the cooker on the left. I think that sounds about right. Because, yeah, you know, the part of the whole thing, uh, part of the whole process is making sure that, yeah, are able to uh, reach you know, things easily. Um, oh wait. Let's see, if I wanted to make... Uh, I, I won't need to make any more than one chemistry bench. So maybe I'll put that on the left. And no, no. I'll have the chem bench on the right. Yeah, and I just have to... of how I want the layout to work, because, yeah, I know that I need the, well, the, so the industrial cookers, they don't work on, um, the electricity, so you can put them wherever you want, um, for something down there, and let's make them a few splashes, it's kind of weird, okay. Uh, but yeah, the fridges, the chem bench, needs both electricity and gasoline to work. The industrial cooker does not get, need electricity. And the cooker, the industrial cooker does not need electricity. So, yeah, my main concern is just putting the fridges down and then the chem bench to the side. So, I will probably give one of these fridges in a good spot. Check it out. Oh, didn't work. I'm just 
just trying to align myself. You use wood, uh, any ladder to be able to climb up. There we go. You can jump off. You're still pretty well aligned. Let's pick that back up to use later on. Now, as long as you only look up and down, you're still aligned with, you know, a wall. Um, See how far. I don't want to get too far into the wall. I'll just kind of align it with that little metal piece there. Yep, that looks okay. And place the second fridge there. And we've got a little time to work with to be able to pick this up again. It's not permanent pickup. Well, it's there. And let's see how far. I'm gonna give it a little space actually so that if I want to put another fridge down, it'll be okay. Yeah, that's not exactly the prettiest thing, but yeah, th there's enough space for a third fridge there. Um, so yeah, that'll work. Um, that was my main concern. Is like, how far away can you get um, away from the labs? So. The next thing I want to put down is going to be the cooker. Yep, and then any f uh, any further to the left um, will be for the grills. But then again, no, I'll I'll do the cooker and then the grills can go for their own. It, it doesn't take. I mean, it won't take that long to get you know over here with any other. Uh, if I want to put down a second or even third grill, um, yeah, it won't take too long. Um, you know, to move from the grill, put, you know, put any, uh, cooked meat over here and put it into a fridge. Yeah. Um, yeah. My, my main concern is just the radius from the, uh, the junction box to that. Anyway, I gotta line myself again, don't I? <laughs> Oh well. There. Come up. Jump off. Pick up. See, there's that one system of a down song. <laughs> I was just thinking of now. <laughs> anyway. So. Yeah, we need a snap point, so before I can even put down the, uh, the, the grill, or the cooker, I need to put down some pipes, or at least a pipe. And so, put this down. I'll give it a bit of space here, so that if I want to put a fourth fridge down, I can't. Um, just give yourself enough space to do that. I think that should be enough space. Um, see, that's a tricky thing. Do I want to do the vertical pipe? Yeah, I, I need to do it this one. I think I'll have enough space here. Um, let me just make sure this is aligned to the triangle. Yeah, that'll be fine. Then I'll just put it... See it? This, uh... Yeah, let's try that for now. Um, the cooker is going to be a bit of a ways away from the wall, but yeah. It'll be okay. It'll be fine. There's enough space there to walk around, I hope. Maybe not. Okay. Maybe, uh, maybe I can, uh, place this, um, 
put it back here. Or maybe I uh, put the pipe a little further away from the wall and then put the, uh, the cooker in there. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. And the, uh, the pipes will come down a little further um, away. Yeah, we'll be okay. I'll just, uh, I'll just go ahead and do that, so I'll just have to realign and so forth. So pick this back up. <laughs> See, I'm being very picky. <laughs> very picky about this whole situation. Anyway. Climb up. Jump off. Aligned. And yeah, I'll do about right there. You know what? On the second thought, I can align myself a little differently. Where I'm more along like this. I think that will work. I just have to find the right spot to be able to snap uh, to do that. Nah, I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. Never mind. Yeah. I don't think I can do that. But then again, I can do a rough estimate. Oh wait, nope, that's not going to work either. Because, uh, well, see, if I try that... Let's see, if I wanted to... And then put the cooker down. Don't think that this is... Yeah. It's not a, it's not giving me any better snapping angle. So there's just the on, only one angle here. So, that's something to keep in mind. If, you, uh, if you're trying to build a base. Now or in the future. <laughs> only one snapping point for those. Uh, for the industrial cooker. It is what it is. That's good enough. Like it's pretty close to the wall, but that's fine. It's not clipped in through the wall. And uh, now let's see how many of these uh, pipes we can put in. Uh, can I go underneath? Yep. One, two, three, four, five. Now let's go out of the banks and. making all that noise outside. Now let's see if we can put the uh, intake pipe down. Yeah. Yes we can. Oh, look at that. Now I've got water. That goes right into the base. on the scaffolding here, and then I'm going to put down the, the rest of the tail. Um, one, two, can't get any further here, that's okay. Now I'm going to start tearing down the scaffolding because uh, I won't really need it any longer for now. So, 
make sure you don't demolish. <laughs> make, sure, make sure you're demolishing the right thing. Just um, finish up here. One, two, three, four, five, and then I put the vertical cable. Last one up here. Up oh, there we go. All right. Uh, final, final thing. Oh, see, this is why I have to close the building. in this whole building. <laughs> and so we can use all the charcoal and make it into gunpowder. And let's demolish this. I mean, I can just, you know, destroy the foundations and all here, but I also want to use, I don't want to, you know, put all the resources to you know. I want to, you know, use the stone for mortar and more cement and paste. One of the issues that I have with our is that you only get 50% of the resources back. Uh, you know, especially coming from... Um, I can't go to the sky where you can get all of your resources back and do something. You know. That's, that's just me, though.
Mine's just about gonna wrap in the So. <laughs> yeah, thanks guys, but, uh... <laughs> no thanks. Um... Yeah, I'll let you, John. I don't know how, if I pronounce. I probably butchered your name there, but uh, that's uh, not gonna. Yeah, that's, I'm not gonna accept that. Anyway, so that's just about gonna do it uh, for now. I could place the um, <laughs> the ground. Actually, there's probably not gonna be enough. There's probably gonna be enough space for one grill, and then I'd have to put any further along this wall. And that's okay, I suppose. Um, is what it is. Anyway. I'll just throw the stuff in here. Yeah, got a lot of charcoal to make into gunpowder. Right, uh, I'll throw the wood and the industrial forge. Kind in here now. I'll make uh, plenty of cementing paste. It's uh, it's never ending process though. <laughs> it really is. It's crazy. Anyway, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. I definitely appreciate it. I uh, hope to see you guys uh, again soon. I'll probably do uh, another broadcast and try to make more progress tomorrow and at an earlier time. Yeah. Uh, anyway, you guys have a good one. <laughs>